Did you know that you can connect any AI multi-agent workflow built on MyPal to any cross-app integration platform such as Zapier or Make to perform your own business automation logic? This means you can programmatically trigger any AI workflow on MyPal to run based on an event happening in other apps, such as a new customer added to your CRM, a new submission received by a form, or a new role added to a sheet. You can also send the results after the AI workflow completes to do things like sending an email or publishing to social media platforms. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do just that by building an actual automation flow using MyPal and Make.com with a use case that I believe many of us are familiar with, repurposing a YouTube video into social media content and blog posts. This is an AI workflow I have built for the purpose of repurposing YouTube video into content on MyPal. Essentially, this AI workflow takes in a YouTube video URL then there are these three AI agents working together to help me write a LinkedIn post, an X post, and also a blog post. To learn more about how you can build an AI multi-agent workflow like this on MyPal, I will leave the link to another video for you to watch. Now, normally, you can always run this AI workflow by clicking a new run and inputting a YouTube video URL here, then click start, and you will get the results you need. However, since this single run mode is done manually, it may not be the most efficient. Now, what if you have a Google Sheet like this, where you store all of the YouTube videos you need to promote, and every time a new YouTube is added to a row, the repurposing AI workflow on MyPal will be automatically triggered to write these posts and automatically populate uh, these sales accordingly for you. You can also do things like auto-publishing the LinkedIn post to LinkedIn, the X post to X, and adding the blog post to your CMS so that it will appear on your website automatically. Thankfully, this is possible with MyPal's API and webhooks feature. For every AI workflow, you can go to this API and webhooks reference tab to learn more about how exactly you can trigger this AI workflow programmatically from anywhere and how you can send the completed workflow run data to anywhere. We can leverage this feature in combination with make.com to make the connection between MyPal, Google Sheet, LinkedIn, X, and CMS possible. The idea is that we can build a make.com automation flow uh, in which it will uh, watch the Google Sheet previously, uh, so that uh, whenever a new row is added to the Google Sheet, make.com will trigger uh, this AI workflow to run by sending an HTTP request following this instruction. Then after this AI workflow completed all the posts, we can set up this, AI, this post run webhook uh, so that MyPal can send the, uh, all the completed posts to that webhook URL. And this is the example webhook data that make.com will receive. You will see that MyPal will send all of the workflow run ID, uh, workflow ID, workflow title, all the input, in this case is the YouTube video URL, and all the output of AI, including LinkedIn posts, X posts, and blog posts. With all of these captured by make.com, and uh, uh, we can then configure that make.com automation flow to uh, use this content to update the previous Google Sheet, as well as publish such posts on social media. Now that the logic is clear, let's go to make.com and start building our make.com scenarios. Let's create uh, the first scenario for, for programmatically triggering AI workflow on MyPal to run. In this case, the trigger of this scenario would be the Google Sheet. We would want it to watch for new roles. Um, and the spreadsheet here would be the MyPal YouTube video list spreadsheet that I have shown you previously. And the sheet name is main. And uh, the this sheet contains headers. Then let's hit OK. Now, the we can set this Google Sheet trigger uh, to watch all new rows. Now, 
every time a new row is added into this Google Sheet, we would want to make a, an a HTTP request. And here, you can refer to the API and web host reference uh, for your AI workflow to complete this HTTP request configuration. This would be the uh, URL. This workflow ID would be one of the carry string. This would be a header that we would need to add. And this would be the body to be sent uh, as part of the request. So let's go back to make.com and fill in all the values here. The URL, the met method would be post. The headers would, would be X API key. The carry string would be workflow ID. The body type would be raw. And the content type is application, J uh, application JSON. And this is the request content. Let's remove all these unnecessary characters. Now, there are two things you need to pay attention to here. First is the XAPI key header, which is used to authorize this HTTP request so that MyPal would know that th uh, this HTTP request is actually coming from you. To get your API key, you can go. You can create an API key here. Just click Create API Key and copy that unique API key and paste into Make.com. Another thing that you need to pay attention to is the input value. Here, the input value would come from the column YouTube video URL from your Google Sheet. So let's select that now. Let's save this model. Now we are done with our first scenario, which is used to trigger this AI workflow on my path to run based on the event of adding a new row in the Google Sheet. Now let's create another scenario for capturing the completed results from the AI workflow on my path and updating uh, the Google Sheet with all the LinkedIn posts, X posts, and blog posts uh, generated, as well as publishing on social media. In this case, this scenario would be triggered with a webhook. Let's select custom webhook, then add a new uh, webhook here. You will get this unique address. Now, with this unique webhook address generated by main.com, you can copy it and go back to your AI workflow builder on MyPal, head over to this post run webhook section and paste that webhook address here. Now we will need to send some test data to this webhook to help, to help make.com decide the type of the uh, data it will receive. So what you can do is you can uh, do a test run here. The AI workflow will generate the LinkedIn posts, X posts, and blog posts, just like the way we configured. Then it will also send a request to the webhook URL of make.com as reflected in this successful status here. Now, if you go back to make.com, you will see that the uh, data has been successfully determined here. So let's click OK. Now that make.com is able to capture the results from MyPal, let's add more logic to this scenario so that make.com can use the results from MyPal to update the previous Google Sheet as well as publish to social media platforms. To do that, first, we would need a Google Sheets model to search rows. This is because to update a row, we would need to determine which row to update first. And we can do that by search for the row whose uh, YouTube video URL is identical to the YouTube video uh, URL that's sent in the workflow run input. Let's select that and choose the MyPal YouTube video list spreadsheet, sheet name main. The filter in this case would be YouTube video URL, column A, it equal to the workflow run input content. And this is the first item in the workflow run input array. The reason why I know this 
is because if you go back to your AI workflow builder in the webhook reference, you will see that the YouTube video URL is the first item in this array. Now, let's limit this to one row in the result and click Save. After we have found this row, let's add another Google Sheet model, but this time for updating that row. The row number in this case would come from Google Sheet search row step and it would be the row number here. For the row with this number, we don't have to update the YouTube video URL. What we want to update is to populate the uh, LinkedIn posts, X posts, and blog posts freshly generated by MyPal. Uh, so the value here would come from MyPal workflow run output content. And this, the LinkedIn post would be, is the first step so it would be uh, in position one similarly x post would be the second step and blog post would be the third step now feel free to add more models for uh, publishing the content on different platforms uh, for the demonstration purpose of this video i will only add the linkedin connection here uh, but feel free to add more connections for x and your cms too Let's select create a user text post. And the, the content in this case would come from the uh, workflow, workflow run output content. Uh, and this is the first um, item in this workflow run output list because the LinkedIn post is in the first step. Now let's save this LinkedIn connection. And just like that, we will have the, this scenario to capture the AI workflow run results from my pal, save the results to Google Sheet and publish the content to social media. And here comes the exciting part. Let's try this AI automation flow between my pal and make.com in action to see how it goes. To do that, I'm gonna copy the link to this YouTube video, teach AI agents to mimic your brand voice, then paste the link into this Google Sheet. Now, the, this trigger YouTube repurposing workflow to run scenario will go first. As you can see, this uh, scenario has detected that I have just added this YouTube video URL into, uh, into row number two of this press spreadsheet. So, so it makes an HTTP request to MyPal API, uh, just like the way I have configured it. And now if you go back to your AI workflow builder, go to the run result tab, you will see that there is a new run added to this um, run result table. All these posts are generated in the background for you. Now it's done. And if you take a closer look at it, you will see that all the LinkedIn posts, X post, blog post is done. And the post run webhook is also, uh, for make.com is also completed successfully here. If you go to the capturing web repurposing YouTube content results, you will see that this uh, make.com scenario has captured the workflow run output here. And it has searched for a row and found that the row number is number two. And it has also updated this row with all the new posts and also create a user text post on LinkedIn. Now let's check our Google Sheet, and you will see that that's right. This row has been updated with the, these new posts. If you go to my LinkedIn uh, page, you will also see this LinkedIn post automatically published here too. Following this process, you can build any cross app integration workflow you want. That's how you can connect MyPal to any automation platform of your choice, be it Make.com or Zapier or anything else to perform your unique cross app integration flow. Try it now on mypal.io and feel free to share with us your experience.